There's a, uh, actually, you know what's in here? You're gonna love this. Nothing. Billy beer. No, really? <laughs> yeah, man. We're with Walt and Kay in their father's lifelong collection. He had great taste, and so far, these guys are putting fair prices on stuff they're not attached to. So tell me about the, uh, the wagon here that's got advertising ice outside, cream. the Jell-O ice cream. I, that is, what I understand, is a wagon that they used to sell Jell-O out of. Is that original paint? We believe it is. You know, wow. we're not experts, but we believe that that is an original. It's not a reproduction. When I initially saw the wagon, I didn't think much of it because I thought that someone had painted it recently because the paint on it is so nice. But once I physically got up to it, it was a game changer. The wagon itself is great. It's fantastic. It's an early piece. It's in good shape. But what's really taken it to the next level, obviously, is the advertising. To me, I think it's real in here, just from seeing it in the light that's here. But what I would like to do is roll it out, just really explore the condition of it. Yeah. Are you interested in something? I'm interested. OK. You want to do that? Yeah, we can do that. OK, Frankie, grab that. All right. Grab that side of the pew. Oh, this thing's heavy. <laughs> Oh, oh, oh. And you got the strength tester there, so don't get the strength tester. Be very careful. I'm being very careful. All right, I'm How the wheels doing back there? They They're fine. They're fine. Okay. Oh, wait, we're hitting over here. That's Are what's you? going on here. Okay. There we go. There's not many more iconic names in advertising than Jello. Is this a subject matter that we usually buy? No. But when you look at the wagon with Jello on the side of it, what I see is early American industry. Wow. Built by Geo Higgins, Rochester, New York. Wow, so incredible. And that's where the product came from, Leroy, New York, too. I cannot tell you how many barns we've been in, and I've stepped over so many different horse-drawn vehicles. But this one is in incredible condition, and it has advertising on it. It's just, you know, you, you see something like this, and the first thing that comes to mind for me is like, where was this stored for so long? It's one of those things you walked in the barn, there it was, something new. Her father was always buying stuff. They're not exactly sure where he got it. Gosh, dang. But the history is clear, and that's why it's an amazing piece. Jello ice cream powder. Look at that, is that a green tint? To me, that doesn't that have a green tint? Look at that. Yeah. I think the whole thing was a dark green and then over time, it just aged into this that black, green, you know, with soot and stuff. Because if you look right here, it's like a really deep forest green. Somebody fixed the wheel there at one time. Yeah, when you see a, it? yeah I didn't even see that. Yeah, yeah, well, just somebody fixed it just to make it go. Even though it's not perfect, the condition of the wagon is amazing. Even underneath of it is incredible. I mean, there's just like one board that's popped up, maybe even just from shrinkage. The condition of the paint takes it from here to here. It's a piece of transportation history, and that's what we like to buy. So now that you've seen it, and it's original? Yeah, it's definitely original. Uh, we've had some offers thrown out on it before. You know, some of them were really low-balled offers. What was and, the low-ball offer? Uh, the guy came in, offered about $3,000 for all three carriages. For this one and the other two? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's okay. what he said. Yeah. And so, based on the research that I've been able to do, we're estimating it would fetch somewhere realistically between eight and ten thousand dollars. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too, between eight and ten. Because as a wagon itself, you know, it's mm -hmm. twenty five hundred bucks. Yeah, then if it, it had no, if it had no advertising on it whatsoever, right. but the paint is incredible. You know, it's going to obviously have to be shipped in an enclosed trailer. Mm -hmm. You never want to have it in the elements. I don't think they're off, but I'm looking at what it's going to cost me to get it from here to Iowa, and then how long am I going to hold on to it? Because it's going to take a very specialized buyer. 6500 yeah, I'd like to get more, but I, 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 I know you got to make a little money down the line, and that's... And Daddy dad always said to... you got to leave something on the table. For the next guy. For the next guy. I think that's realistic. And I think that's a fair deal. Right. 65. Thank you, honey. Thank All you right. Very much. You very much appreciate it. Thank you. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's a cool piece. Its story, its condition, 
it's transportation, it's American industry, and that's why it's an amazing piece. All right, thank you guys very much. Yeah, this was quite the collection. We appreciate it. Today was an education for us. Look at her, she's going for it. There was a lot of things we learned today about a lot of these pieces that we had no idea about. You want some help, Frankie? Sure, no, I, I, I got it. Today was a great pick. Not only were the items great, but the people were great. Wow, that's full service. Gotta make the money somehow. <laughs> You know, they are informational. They did the research and stuff. That's the kind of people I like to deal with. Danielle will be in touch with you in like in a week or so or something. We'll set up a shipping company. It'll come down and make arrangements when it's convenient for you guys. Thank you. And Thank pick you. the stuff up. Thanks. Nice Appreciate you. Nice to meet you. It took them 20 years to come to terms on what they were going to let go. I'm excited about the wagon. Good. We'll see you all, all right. later. See you Thank later. You. That's the beauty of collecting. It's only yours for a short time. They've had an extra 20 years to spend time around their father's things. See you later! Bye! Bye! And now, other people are going to enjoy it. It's like a day-to-day -day treasure hunt. I'm out there looking for rusty gold. I'm looking for the unusual and impossible. It's back roads. It's dumpster diving. It's flea markets. It's people's homes.